This is brand new. It's from our friends from Plow and Hearth, which is a Madison, Virginia company. And we have the representative here, their expert, Nancy Brandmuller, who has the pleasure of going down there and she works with them. And she has brought us more of our favorite wall art. Mm -hmm. Nancy, last time you and I worked mm -hmm. and we shared wall art, and I don't remember if it was this year or mm -hmm. just the beginning of the season, completely sold out so i'm warning you right now completely sold out because the prices the execution just beautiful so. it is you know plow and hearth does such a beautiful job yeah. giving us items that we can enjoy outside sometimes inside if you want mm -hmm, to absolutely. but that are unique and different when i've been looking at wall art just kind of researching this most of it is just kind of like galvanized metal you know kind of more of that kind of brownish tone or kind right. of silver tone rarely have i seen something that has color and this talavera art is very bright, which is why they called it the bright Talavera art. So it's really exciting to bring it. Well, already very, very popular. So we'll go through the individual choices there. Mm -hmm. The turtle, by the way, will measure 17 and a half inches by 14 and a quarter. Great. And then we also have next to me above my shoulder, our beautiful butterfly. It is the only one that has jeweled eyes. So if you're a person who wants a little bit of glitter or glam in your garden, you might want that yeah. butterfly. And Love then it. we have, oh, did you want to? Oh, the butterfly is 15 and three quarters by 15 and two thirds. I mean, you can see how large it is. Yep, exactly. And then our iconic sun and moon. When you're talking Talavera art, very often you're going to see the sun and moon together. And I'd love to just kind of explain a little bit what Talavera art is after we sort of, you know, have finished going through our choices here. The sun and moon, 16 and a half by 17 inches. All right, thank you for going there because I was like, Am I supposed to know what Talavera art is? Well, it's more than just a fancy pretty name. It is um, a style of pottery that's done in Mexico. And when I was looking into it a little more, it actually originated in the 1500s in oh, wow. Spain, in a town called Talavera de Castilla. And then that kind of technique and these beautiful colors and the kinds of patterns were brought to Mexico. And then now, if you are looking at Talavera artwork, it's typically made out of pottery. And what Plow and Hearth has done is given you metal pieces. And the nice thing about that is that you don't don't have to worry about them breaking. You don't have to worry about, you know, during the winter time. Right. You can put this up on a wall. You can put it on a fence and enjoy it, not worrying about the weather affecting it. And the way that Plow and Hearth actually executed this is it's ready to be able to go ahead and hang it very, yes. very easily. I mean, you can see on the <clears throat> butterfly, for instance, that maybe I should turn it to the side and take my finger out so you could see. There's actually an opening here, mm -hmm. so you could put a screw or a nail into the wall and hang it that way if you want to. And then it has room for the legs. But you see, do you see the size and all of the colors that Nancy was talking about? I mean, I was just thinking about, you know, Valerie has her first garden show coming up next with the blue lanterns that oh, she just introduced, mm -hmm. the new colors. I mean, there's so many colors you can't miss. Exactly. And what I love about this is wall art helps you decorate those areas that tend to get forgotten, like a fence. Maybe you have a fence that you have beautiful lilies or you have butterfly bushes, but behind it's just a plain old fence whether it's white or brown or whatever how nice to be able to put maybe some of the butterflies above your butterfly bushes or you have Ooh, that, that would shed be so pretty yeah that, you know you have oh, that on your shed, shed that yeah. just kind of as a mm -hmm. blank wall and it's kind of boring it really would look so much prettier if you put some of these beautiful bright colors up and especially before our flowers start blooming how nice to be able to see colors that are bright and cheerful they're a great size over 200 of you now have already dialed in and if you've gone to any of the malls or when you're on vacation mm -hmm. someplace really wonderful lots of times you see metal art the problem with it is it's expensive because it really is very labor intensive yes if we take a look and let's start on the turtle if you don't sure, mind absolutely I mean there's layers he has popped eyes look at the feet on this right down to the adorable little tail that's three-dimensional exactly that's what's really cool about this piece is it's not just a flat right piece of metal that's stamp. been painted Mm -hmm. It's got embossing on it. It's got dimension. It's got beautiful colors that are just painted into all of those pieces that are embossed. So you're looking at that turtle. And like you said, he's got a three-dimensional head. Right. In fact, I can even hold this one and let you see it even more closely. You've got that three-dimensional head. There he is kind of like swimming right at you. And you can see his little eyes are kind of po po poking out. There's his body. This is all textured. You can hear my fingers kind of like going against it. So you can tell that's not flat. So it's going to kind of come out from the wall a little bit. If we look maybe 
maybe at the butterfly above my shoulder, you've got that same kind of beautiful, every flower is embossed, every scroll is embossed. You've got also the little antenna that stick up. So it's really a beautiful piece of artwork that you might find at that juried craft show, right. or like if you're going to one of the flower shows that are going on right now. But really most of the time when I see metal artwork for the garden, it's just a very plain, either kind of silverish or aluminum tone, or kind of more of a, almost a brownish, maybe even rustic kind of a look to it. I love these bright colors that Plow and Hearth did. On the butterfly, it's actually a mirror image, so that's difficult to do in itself. 400 of you now have already dialed in. That's exactly what happened last time when yep. Nancy and I were in, <laughs> because you all realized, I mean, look at that sun Gorgeous. and moon, which is really one of your iconic mm -hmm. designs here on the queue. All of the colors. Think about your table. I mean, you could have an orange tablecloth and you could have blue dishes, or you could, you know, play off with the yellow flowers. I see daffodils. I mean, it's just, there's so many colors here and it's nice. Put it under a porch, you know, use it instead of a wreath on a door that's exposed to the elements. You know, how about your shed? Exactly. You know, so many different places. In fact, I'm going to walk over to the door because I love okay. that you said instead yeah. of a wreath because so many times we love to have a wreath on the front door. Maybe you have mm -hmm. a back door or a garage door. I love this as something that's different. I like having something that's unique. So look at that beautiful sun and the moon. Such a cheerful greeting when someone comes to your door. And it also will fit in very nicely if someone has one of those storm doors or just, you know, some kind of screen because it's got a nice profile that it's not going to that's interfere a, at all with that's that. That's a really good point. Mm -hmm. So if you need it to be a thinner profile mm -hmm. or it's going to be exposed, buy more than one. I mean, have some fun with these. I could see like two turtles putting one down yeah. here and one up there mm -hmm. and then your picnic table in front of it. I mean, this is what we're doing. We're creating outdoor spaces and this also is, I think is a wonderful gift. Who's buying a new house? You're going to a housewarming or a wedding shower a gift or a Mother's Day gift if your mom if like you know you know Nancy's a great gardener um, I love to garden we all love to be outside it's just fun it's different and yes. the price on this and the quality of plow and hearth you've got this one so here's your turtle your sun moon each one of the little rays has a different color in a pattern. I mean, that's a lot of work. And then you have that beautiful butterfly. So maybe this is the gift. And Nancy and I both mm -hmm. have daughters that are graduating. I know, hard to believe. What? Danny, <laughs> um, as Nick calls him. No, no, wait, wait, wait. I didn't mean to sound surprised that uh -huh. she was graduating. Uh -huh. I'm actually surprised that she's old enough to graduate. I know, I know. I just want to make amazing. that clear. I'm even more I, surprised I, I that Nancy and I are old enough for that. <laughs> well. But maybe you can say, you know, your butterfly, there's so so many great sayings about butterflies Absolutely. so you can think about it that way. And you know? it's, you know, expression of uh, transformations and new beginnings. Your yes. turtle is so that you enjoy the slower pace of life. And okay. then your sun oh, and moon, it. that's just something that reminds you of maybe a vacation you had in, you know, Mexico right. or something that reminds you of that beautiful Talavera. But such gorgeous colors and that plow and hearth quality. I think this is something that just would add that beauty to your garden. And painted by hand. Yeah. Yes. I think it reminds us that we need to go ahead and take some time, have a drink with an umbrella, and forget that it's snowing outside. You're I right. Agree. I'll be back. I agree. All right. <laughs> <laughs> Wait. You see you do. <laughs> no, I'm just kidding. Nancy, thank you so, so much. Good to see you, Nancy. Thank you Always so a much. Pleasure. Good to see you guys. All right, dude. Quick reminders. Real quick. Oh, oh, oh. We need to post a sold out sign. Uh, the rechargeable lights that Erica brought to us. We'll do everything we can to get those back in, but it might take us a little while. Uh, really is a great common sense solution to lighting problems in our home. Dan, I have to admit, I, I had a cherry danish for you, but I ate it on the way to bring oh, it to you. Is I'm that so what sorry. happened yes, to I'm it? Yes, I'm 